All right, <clears throat> we're putting up the chandelier. Um, I think it looks better shorter. I didn't want it to be super long, so he just took out one of the rods. Um, so we're trying to see what length we actually want it to be. But I think I like this shorter length. It looks more like a chandelier. My only problem is I didn't want it to be long because I didn't want it to, like, if you look in for it to be covering up the picture and it'd be, like, cluttered. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, moment of truth. Oh, it works. All right, so we're about to put all the bulbs in there really quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. Right, eh? There we are. I love it. It's so modern. So the only thing we have to do now is, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm gonna take the other light fixture down. It kind of left like a ring around the thing, so we just got to paint this in one bit. It's not the worst thing in the world. I like it. Tell me what you guys think. Gives it a modern look. So next order the beast new sis to put up that picture straight across there. So you see how we took one of the bars out and now it doesn't sit too low. So now we can put the picture up there. So when you're looking like straight ahead, you can see the picture and they're two different accents versus clashing with one another. Hey, Daddy. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> anyway. What's the what? We got a package in them. Oh, it's blurry. We got a package in the Mayo Opal House. It comes from Tarjay, guys. Wanna guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's got wood. It is my chair that is going to go right out here on our porch. He got you, smart up fat friend. What are you doing sitting down, son? What you doing sitting down? He's trying to show you a water bottle. What are you doing? And it keep your drink cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, loves, we came out on the porch. Makes sense. So y'all see this little corner over here? That is where this is gonna go. <clears throat> so we're gonna build it out here. Sorry, I'm eating a popsicle. Wait a minute. Let me get this fine piece of chocolate on the camera real quick. I don't want them to see me struggling. I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about the chair. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the butter sketch, right, huh? Babe, no, not like that. Hold on, wait a minute, uh-uh. Because what you're not going to do is damage the product. Okay, y'all, so it's too big to fit through the what's the name over there. So, babe, why don't you just go right there and hand it to me and I'll hold it there and then you come back around and pull it over. That makes more sense than you trying to... All right, I'm about to set y'all up because y'all need to see this.
Hello. <laughs> you need to come on the side of the table. I don't think I like it. We did it. Okay, babe. So I want it to be catty corner. But can you? Yeah, for my drinks when I drop it, baby. Got my margaritas. Um, I mean, I like it right there, but scoot it back some. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna put these pillows on him. I like it, y'all. It's so beautiful. Come on with it. Oh, look how thick that cushion is. Oh, yes. We about to be lit tomorrow. Watch it rain. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't want to swing. Put the swing over there. Look at him trying to hate. Look at this. It's so cozy. Oh God. Look at this. I can fit all the way in here. Granted, I'm short, so it's probably not saying much, but it's very deep. Like my hands don't even reach the front of it. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so comfortable. It's so comfortable. So if it's nice in the morning, right, right now it's like a cool little breeze. He just called these kids out here. Lord have mercy, Jesus. They finna run at the moment. No, Lord. Oh, look at it. I don't even know where to go. Oh my God. Mama. <laughs> See, we can all fit in here. Yeah. So y'all little thickles out there can get in the thing too. Whistle. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna come out here in the morning, have my little tea, warm water, whatever you wanna call it, with my little self care journal, and it's gonna be a vibe, a whole vibe. All right. So. That's this. We're about to go in the house and hang up the picture in my office. Um, y'all gonna help me up? Yes. Let's do this. All right, y'all. We are about to hang up the lovely picture there. Hopefully, husband has it does it right the first time. He has a tendency to drill holes and holes and holes, but we're gonna wish good luck on him. Can I keep my gun? Is it? I don't care. Isn't it our? The chair matches the office. What a coincidence, guys. <laughs> anyway, so once he gets this up, we are going to determine whether or not this shelf is gonna go against this wall or if it's gonna be moved somewhere else. Man of the hour. Oh, my stomach hurt. Is she ready? He won't be shut up. All right. Check back in once you get this up. What's up? It's oh wait, up. all right. Can you put that back right there? So we can get the full effect. Watch out, Max. Why does it look like it's so far away? I love it. 
Yeah, work in progress. Hey y'all, it is a new day. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably been a whole week since I actually started this particular vlog, but it doesn't matter, here we are. So today I'm gonna be giving y'all a tour of the master bedroom and the guest bedroom. Keep in mind, work in progress, work in progress, work in mother in progress, okay? So this is not the final, the final product or finished product. So I'm gonna turn y'all around and just kind of walk you through the room and maybe point out some of, some of my ideas that I have for the rooms as well. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is a view of the bed. I already showed y'all the bed and the bedding in a previous video. The only thing that I wasn't certain about and that video was the um, little throw thing we have here, but I lost the tag, so I'm obviously keeping them. And then I'm not satisfied, like the pillows, they're just not giving me what I need. So I feel like I need like three, two or three more pillows to add on there. But anyways, um, the newest addition is the nightstands, obviously two nightstands in the dresser. So this is what they look like. I was really going for like a rustic type vibe in here, um, like really warm tone. So I feel like this is perfect. And then I love like the black hardware on there so I can pull out some darker colors into the room. But I showed y'all the lamps. This is how I decided to set it up. I also showed y'all those candles in a previous vlog haul and then these set of books. I still have the tag on it y'all because quite frankly I'm not sure if this is even giving me what I need it to give. <clears throat> but I do like the fact that it's very simple or simplistic whatever you want to call it. And then underneath there, um, I plan on getting um, baskets, probably cream baskets or maybe black baskets. Oh, that would be cute. And then um, using it as storage. So if we come over here to the other side, it is the same thing. Obviously, the cut of the wood is a little bit different. I don't know if y'all can notice just that this one is a little bit darker. But anyways, so over here... Um, same thing, plan on getting a cream or a black basket to go up under there. And then we obviously have the matching lamp and the same candle, but I need to find something to go in the center there. Right now we just have our little Alexa thing, um, you know, so nothing too special going on over here. And then here is the dresser. So y'all, this is where we either will, we initially decided that we weren't going to put a TV up in our room, but I don't know. I just kind of feel, I mean, it is, don't get me wrong, it's peaceful going to sleep at the end of the night without having anything on, but I just feel like this wall needs a TV. At the end of the day, if we don't get a TV, I plan on putting more decorations here on the top of the dresser and then probably we'll do maybe like some wedding photos. Y'all, I really don't like our wedding photos, so... Maybe like family photos or we retake our wedding photos, something. And add that up there with like some cute frames or something. Right now, this is the only thing that I have sitting over here. And it's, again, this ain't giving me what I needed to give. It's very simple. I might end up moving the combination of both of these into our living room when I start working on that. But I haven't been home goods in a minute. So we need to take a trip, see what they got. Maybe I can fill up this space or something. But... And then over here, hopefully the lighting doesn't get too bad since I'm facing the window. But um, we're gonna use this as our little seating area. So I wanna get two chairs and maybe like a small little table to go in between it. So we just have like a little peaceful oasis or whatever you wanna call it, you know, to read. We don't really read like that, but you know, we trying to change our ways. But you know, even just to sit down, cause like obviously when the bed is made, you don't wanna be in your bed. so. You can sit over there, watch TV, read, journal, whatever it is you want to do. And then over here on this wall, I was thinking about doing like a black and wooden shelf so we can start like our book collection or whatever. But I don't want it to be like overly crowded in here. So we'll see because I could even do three black frames over there on that wall or something like that. And then over here, I was thinking about doing tall pictures that can go against the what's the name not necessarily hang it on the wall but we'll see work in progress like i told y'all so now i'm about to take y'all into our bathroom but first let me just show y'all our view so over here you can kind of see like we have a view of like other houses but then over here it's just kind of like you know trees which i like and you have a view of the backyard 
So let's go into the bathroom. So I ain't gonna go super deep in here, but obviously this is our spa shower. We got like the rain shower head up there. I think I showed y'all that in one of the update videos before we actually close on the house. And then you have the little handheld thing. And then obviously just the normal shower thing that comes out our stuff. I wanna get something, I don't know, like that bothers me that it just sits out like that. So we'll see. And then over here you have like the little vanity area. So I think I showed y'all this in one of my mini home goods hauls, but I bought these little wooden canister things. So this has the um, Q-tips in it. And then this one has cotton balls and then two brush holder, um, soap holder. And then we have our own individual soap holders. Um, and then right now I just have that little mirror thing over there, which I don't know if it's gonna stay. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And then under here, Obviously, I have the trash can. I showed y'all these little wooden um, benches for benches, benches, Jesus, from Wayfair um, in one of my hauls. If y'all see any dirt on the floor, honey, mind your business because I ain't been cleaning up like that. So, whatever. But underneath the bench, I have like the towels and the rags. Um, and then there's another bench on the other side that I'll show y'all. Right here on this wall, I really want to do like some type of storage cabinet or something where we can actually store like excess towels, tissue, toiletries, just different things like that. Because as y'all can see, we only have that small drawer. I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek of what it looks like under here. Very much unorganized. I ordered these clear containers y'all and it's a mess. So this is just a result of living in the house and just not really clearing like that so we gotta um we gotta fix that but i need to just figure out a better storage thing i need to get like a bigger storage thing to store like the overflow stuff so anyways over here this is like the little oasis peaceful oasis i keep saying that but this is the standalone freestanding tub whatever you want to call it um it's a jacuzzi tub but it doesn't have jets honey it would have been lit if we would have had jets on here but this is my little peace of mind at the end of the day, honey. I've taken many baths in here, especially with this pregnancy. So I got the little wooden tray thing over there. I got that from Amazon maybe a year or two ago. So it kind of goes up to where you can, you know, put something on there like your tablet or whatever. And then we have the second wooden bench right here, which I have the two clean towels rolled up. And then obviously this is the towel that I um, am going to be using. So I also need to get like a, a towel rack or something to be able to hang our towels up on the ones that are in use so that you can actually, you know, utilize the, the bench to sit on if you want it to. But this is pretty much an overview of the bathroom. Um, we're definitely trying to create the spotlight feel in here. So we want to get a diffuser. There's a couple other things that we want to add to just make it look, feel, and smell like a whole vibe, honey. Just a whole spotlight. And then in there, this is where our toilet is. So we just have that little basket right there. And then that's where you go potty. So like I said, the master bedroom is still very much a work in progress. I think I'm gonna go, I haven't been to Home Goods in like two weeks. We've been really busy the last couple of weekends, but I really wanna go because I feel, I'd be feeling like I'm missing out on something. Like somebody is taking the decorations that I need, the ones that I could be using in my house. Like we gotta go. So I'm gonna try to go hopefully this weekend and see if I can find some decorations or something like that. Um, Really quick, my closet. I don't know if you watch my major closet organization, whatever. It looks worse than it did now um, before I did the closet reorganization. Y'all, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Let's go to the guest bedroom. Alrighty, so here is the guest bedroom. So I'll just give y'all this view first. So if you've been following me for a while or if you watch any of my haul videos, some of these decorations may look familiar to you because it was in the master bedroom at the last house. So these are the dressers that we use from 
the master bedroom. Whenever I show y'all the nursery, you'll notice that the dresser is in the nursery to use as a diaper changing station. Um, this guest bedroom is not that huge, so obviously we didn't want to put the dresser in here to take up room. Um, these are the lamps I was telling y'all about. You see how they're similar um, kind of material as the ones in our guest bed in our master bedroom now. Um, except these have shades on them. I thought everything right here, y'all, came from our guest bed. I mean, came from the master bedroom at the old house. And then some people may be like, oh, girl, why you got pictures of your family in here? Because it's our house. And people need to be reminded when they stay here that you ain't at home. So don't do nothing you ain't got no business doing. It's somebody else's house, period. So this um, little not more stressless, that was actually in the office at the old house. The two yellow pillows were on our guest bed. I mean, on our master bed at the last house. And then the two jumbo pillows over here, which I love. I think these are only $24 each, y'all. Don't quote me. I could be lying. Um, but they were on the bench in our master bedroom. So I felt like this combination looked good. We have two pictures that need to go up. They have all of those colors inside of the picture. So one's going to go here. One's going to go over there. But we just haven't really made it a priority to hang them. Um, same thing over here. Another picture of the family. Same flowers and stuff like that. And then we got coasters in here, which I don't know why, because ain't nobody eating or drinking in here. This comforter set is by Tahari. I think I showed it to y'all in one of my hauls. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But um it hasn't been used yet because no one stayed the night since we actually made this up. But I thought like a simple gray color would look good in here with the whole color scheme. So if we turn this way, hopefully the lighting doesn't get too bad. Um, I love these three windows in here and how they're positioned because I feel like it just it's just so peaceful, you know. So the infamous couch that has made its way through so many rooms. It was in my office. Then I put it in the living room as an accent chair, and now it's in here. Um, and I had mentioned putting it in my closet, but I was like, wait. It can go in like the little nook reading area in the guest bedroom. That's that and then I think I'm gonna use, I have like a little table in my messy closet right now that I think I'm gonna bring down here and sit right there. And maybe do, I don't know, something on there. So this is what this looks like. So we kind of tried to bring the yellow and the blue from over here because you have obviously the blue bed and then the yellow and stuff over there. So probably not doing anything on the wall. I want this to be as and minimalistic as possible without it you know I don't want it to be too crowded in here and then this is the door to the bathroom turn the light on so hey y'all these little flowers were in the master bathroom at the last house that little saying right there that says the bath is my happy place that was also in the master bathroom and then here's the shower I love it. It is also glass. Um, but this is just a walk-in shower. There's no bathroom in here. And then I showed y'all, if you watched any of the update videos, this is the linen closet in here. So, guess where everyone got a linen closet, but the master does not. The last thing is, um, y'all ignore that home goods bag right there. I tried to get it out of the way so I can show y'all the room. So the comforter set was in but this door right here leads out of the room so there's like a little mini hallway but right here is the guest bedroom closet it's a walk-in closet but my husband is currently using it for to store his clothes because i ain't giving him no space in my closet so yeah but yeah let me know what y'all think it's just simple and that's how we like it so that is all I have to show y'all for the master bedroom, for the guest bedroom. Like I told y'all before we got started on the mini tour, it is all a work in progress. There's still, you know, little decorative pieces that I want to get. For the most part, the guest bedroom is pretty much final. I'm not going to really spend a lot of time and energy in here just because it's furnished. It looks nice in my opinion. Um, like I said, we just need to hang the two pictures up on the wall above the nightstands. But other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And then I need to just get the soap dispensers. Like, that's priority because people be using the bathroom. I'll be like, hey, you ain't wash your hand, got in no soap now. But anyways, for the guest bedroom, I mean, for the master bedroom, however, it's a lot of work that we need to do in there. I need to order chairs. I need to order or go to home goods and get more home decor. 
I need to, I don't know. It's just, obviously it's just not complete. Um, and then the next vlog that will go up after this one is gonna be of um, a tour of the nursery. It's also going to be um, footage from our drop by baby shower from this past weekend. But next week we are getting my pack system delivered. So hopefully um, I have a vlog out um, with me updating my closet, but that's a lot to build. So I don't know how soon that is gonna come. And then our living room furniture, I think I told y'all that I canceled my furniture from Macy's and I ordered excuse me something from west elm the modular sofa or something like that it's a cream sofa that should be here between the 12th and 26th of may so we're gonna have some living room updates soon and then also our bar stools from west elm will be here like the first week in july i want to say and our coffee table should be here sometime in june or july so it's a lot of stuff and then what we already have furnished we will continue to update and decorate and different things like that. So these home videos, honey, they just gonna be coming. They gonna keep coming. And then obviously we're like four weeks out from our baby girl coming. So there may be a slight pause and videos for a little minute. It just depends on how well we adjust, but I'm trying, like I'm a nest mode, nesting mode. So I'm trying to get a lot as much as accomplished as possible because I know that it'll be a somewhat of an adjustment whenever she gets here. But anyways, y'all, I don't want to keep rambling. I don't want to hold y'all, but I really hope y'all enjoyed the vlog for this week and stay tuned for more vlogs. If you're not already, remember, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the support as always. Until next time, y'all stay safe and blessed. I will see y'all in the next video.